Now a Florida teen is fighting for his life after doctors say he contracted a brain-eating amoeba. He got sick just days after a family trip to Port Charlotte, Freshwater Beach. News 6's Carolina Cardona is live in the newsroom. And Carolina, you spoke with a doctor to learn more about these parasites. That's right, Lisa. I spoke with Dr. Todd Husty, an emergency medical specialist in Seminole County. He does not treat the team, but he tells me it's a rare disease contracted only through the nose that connects with the brain. It usually takes a large amount of water up the nose to contract the deadly disease. A trip to a Florida beach landed 13-year-old Caleb Ziegelbauer in the emergency room. According to his family, Caleb had headaches and hallucinations, symptoms particular of a brain-eating amoeba, a condition 97% of people never recover from. It destroys brain cells. I mean, that's really what it does. It destroys brain cells. Dr. Todd Husty, an emergency medical specialist in Seminole County, does not treat the teen who is currently at a children's hospital in Fort Myers. Doctors treating Caleb believe the amoeba entered his body through his nose and reached his brain. So you can't get this from drinking water, okay? You can get other things from drinking bad water, but you're not going to get this from drinking water. This is water up your nose. What are the probabilities of someone recovering from this? You know, if it's caught very early, there's a good chance of recovery. Dr. Husty says symptoms start to show somewhere between three to five days. But once the disease hits the spinal canal, it's difficult to recover. If you have been swimming in freshwater lakes and there's a new set of symptoms, you know, the headache, the fever, um, nausea and vomiting. But if you get the stiff neck, it's getting pretty late. It's getting very late, so the stiff neck is the next thing that shows up. You really need to get to the emergency department. You need to put two and two together. Yes, I've got new symptoms. Yes, we were swimming in a freshwater lake. According to the CDC, the amoeba is a single-cell organism found in warm bodies of fresh water. So everybody needs to be aware that this time of year and on through August, the freshwater lakes are getting pretty darn warm. Now, Dr. Husty says nose clips are a good idea if you'll be playing out in a freshwater lake. According to the CDC, from 1962 to 2021, there were 154 known infections reported in the U.S. Of that number, 36 cases have been in Florida. So far, only four people have survived from it. In the newsroom, I'm Carolina Cardona. Getting results. News 6. Back to you.